Uh, hello everybody, uh, my name is Hat and this is part 3 of the Nikon Z9 uh, autofocus speed test series. Um, in this video I will compare um, the autofocus speed of the Z9 with the uh, D500 while using the 500mm f4 VR uh, G version with and without a teleconverter. Uh, it is my favorite wildlife uh, lens because um, although it's a 500mm f4 lens um, it is still hand holdable uh, at some extent and not uh, as bulky as the 600 or the 800mm. In addition uh, the minimum focusing distance is only a uh, 4 meter and it works really well with the 1.4 uh, teleconverter which makes it then a uh, 700 millimeters 5.6 um, and finally um, it is as sharp as it could be um, in my opinion the 300 millimeters 2.8 with 1.4 teleconverter is actually not as sharp as this lens without a teleconverter. And just a quick summary uh, for the test setup. I was using my bird book as a test subject at about uh, 6 meters away from the camera. If you want to know more about the uh, setup, then please have a look at the part one of this uh, series. I will put the link uh, in the description below. But before we jump into the result, um, I would like to thank you all for your uh, support to the channel. Um, I really appreciate all the likes and uh, the comments. Special thanks also for uh, those who uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, I have a full-time job, but uh, I'm trying to upload a video uh, weekly at least. So uh, if you did not subscribe yet, please uh, subscribe and uh, don't forget also to uh, click the notification bell. So back to the autofocus uh, test, um, here are the results. Uh, nothing actually really deviates from what we've seen before with the two previous lenses. Uh, without teleconverter, the D500 is actually as snappy as the Z9. Uh, both camera takes about uh, 0.3 seconds to focus from infinity to uh, 6 meter. Unfortunately, um, while I was using the large uh, focus area with animal detection, uh, I encountered again uh, this uh, issue with the Z9 when uh, the camera just hung or uh, hunt and refused to uh, focus. I am actually um, agreeing with uh, John who commented on this uh, issue um, that um, the most probable reason is um, the fact that I uh, defocused the lens uh, to infinity before uh, focusing on the subject. Um, in addition, the wide uh, aperture does not help either. I think the issue is not really as big as I, I thought it be. Uh, because um, in real life situation, I will never uh, defocus the lens like this before uh, I take uh, a picture. If ever um, it occurs and then yeah, uh, just need to change the focus area mode or uh, disable the animal detection or just give a little help to the lens and then everything should be fine. Uh, the result with the teleconverter is also a uh, very comparable um, with the result that we uh, saw with the previous two lenses. The autofocus speed of the Nikon D500 uh, dropped proportionally uh, according to the power of the teleconverter being used, um, just as uh, expected. However, uh, the Z9 combo uh, autofocus 
uh, more or less the same um, no matter uh, we use teleconverter uh, or not. Although the result seems to suggest a little uh, drop of uh, autofocus speed with this lens once uh, a teleconverter is been used. Um, I think it's still safe to say that uh, the Nikon Z9 is actually a teleconverter invariant when it comes to uh, autofocus speed. So actually then on the Z9, this lens is a kind of a four lens in one. Without teleconverter, it's a 500 millimeters uh, f4. With the 1.4 uh, teleconverter, um, it become a 700 millimeters 5.6. With the 1.7 teleconverter, um, it becomes uh, an 850 millimeters uh, f 6.7 and with the two times teleconverter it become a 1000 millimeters uh, f8 and uh, all those lens combination are still um, reliable and fast when it comes to autofocus so i think uh, that concluded for uh, this uh, part three uh, in part four i will conclude uh, this test with the 600 millimeters f4 a non VR lens, and I will also uh, give them uh, an overall uh, summary of uh, the result. So, until next time, then, bye.